Today, I'm going to be embarking upon a 15 mile journey through the North Downs of Kent and Surrey. Along my walk, I'm going to be stopping at four breweries. And I'm starting here in the town of Westrum at Westrum Brewery. Westrum Brewery was established in 2004 by Robert Wicks. The original brewery was based in Crockham Hill, a few miles south of Westrum, but the brewery moved into the current location inside the town of Westrum at Beggars Lane in 2014. The shop and tap room you see here opened in 2021 and the tap room does have a lovely view through to the brewery. The water for the brewery comes from a borehole on the same green sand aquifer that supplied the Black Eagle Brewery which closed in 1965. They've also recultured the yeast from the Black Eagle Brewery and have recreated some of their recipes. Western's most popular beer is British Bulldog, a 4.1% bitter. They were originally focused on ales, but they now do produce lagers and other keg beers. And that was Western Brewery. And now I've got a 2.6 mile walk ahead of me to the next brewery, much like Western being a new brewery site. The one I'm going to, um, I believe, moved into this new brewery in 2021. I left Western by the main road, made my way over the M25 and up towards the North Downs Way. I was thankful for the shade on the North Downs Way from the trees, although the path in places was muddy. Sadly, on this section of North Downs Way, there aren't many views due to the tree cover and also private land holders. It wasn't long before I arrived back on the main road and at my second brewery. I've arrived at my second brewery. The clouds are starting to darken. Although it said it wasn't gonna to rain today, I hope it doesn't. And I'm here at Titsy Brewery. Probably not the best ever view there. So let me just take you around the corner and you're gonna see the brewery itself. Titsy Brewery was originally a microbrewery founded by Craig Froome in 2017 in a farmhouse in Botley Hill. In 2018, a larger brew kit was purchased through crowdfunding and the brewery moved into an old bunker. In 2021, the Titsy Estate bought a majority stake in the brewery and built this purpose-built brewery on Clark's Lane Farm. Their all-year offering includes the Leveson Bucks Session IPA, Gal Wolf Bitter, Gresham Golden Ale, and their Innes Lager. Most of their offerings appear to be ale, As you can see, the weather has changed. There's no one sat outside. I've got a hoodie on. I'm now making my way on to my next stop, which is, I think it's gonna be an easy one. It's um, just over three and a half miles, but it's not uphill, it's downhill. Um, I'm gonna not take the more direct route, which is along the road. I'm actually gonna follow the path. Um, so it'll probably be nearer four miles than I'm going. I'm not in too much of a rush because I'm actually ahead of schedule. So I arrived early at my first pub, uh, means I arrived here early. I could sit out the rain and let it disappear. And now I'll make my way to the next brewery. But the next brewery doesn't open until five o'clock. So my journey is just under two hours, I think, from here. And they're not going to be opening for about two hours 40. So I've got plenty of time to spare on the side.
This part of the North Downs Bay was single track trails, although there were plenty of views over the hillside. The journey, as I expected, was quite easy as it was downhill. On the way, looking over the fields and the M25, you get views of the towns of Limpsfield and Oxted. Sadly, the journey wasn't as easy as I expected, as I then had to start making my way back uphill and up a large number of steps. The last part of the journey involved walking along roads until I arrived at Flower Farm, where my third brewery is based. And five miles later, I'm here at Godstone Brewery. Well, I'll buy the farm and the farm shop just in front of it, but I believe the tap room is open on Fridays from five o'clock and it's just gone five past five. The idea for Godstone Brewers came about when two old uni friends, Anne and Steve, met in 2014. They both had home brewed from a young age and decided to have a changing career and start up a brewery. Brewery opened in 2015 on Flower Farm. The label designs are all created by Anne's son. Their biggest selling beer is Pontel Pale and although the tap room is only open for a few hours on a Friday, you can find their beers at food and drink festivals over Surrey and Kent. When I visited the brewery, Steve was very kind and gave me a quick tour around showing their brew equipment, along with their bottling and canning equipment. Just finished at Godstone Brewery. Um, I've taken two bottles to take home with me, although I've got to take on the walk to the next brewery. Um, but all I can say is he gave me a tour of the brewery, explained stuff to me, really great guy. Um, they're only open on Fridays, uh, five till eight. So definitely worth checking out. Uh, they had three casks on and one of those keg machines so it cools it down journey ahead though yeah i have walked about eight miles um just about maybe yeah i now have seven and a half mile walk to my final brewery yep i know that is mental that should have probably been my first walk but because this place didn't open until five it had to be done the opposite way. The dark clouds have disappeared. There is no more rain, it feels like, and the sun is up there, but behind a cloudy sky. That's fine by me. Uh, I am starting to get slightly burnt. I've reapplied sun lotion again, but it's onward with my seven and a half mile walk to the final brewery. I am absolutely stupid, aren't I? Seven and a half miles. And I'm like, what? Six pints in? That's mental. The final leg of my journey was gonna be on footpaths along the roads. Along the way, I passed many a pub that were very tempting, but I avoided going in.
As I arrived into the town of Red Hill, the sun started to set, but I still had two more miles to reach my final destination in the town of Reigate. Along the way, I passed a pub run by my final brewery, but I didn't stop and instead pushed on for 25 more minutes to reach their tap room. It's just after nine o'clock and I've made it here to Pilgrim Brewery. I'm knackered, I deserve a drink. Pilgrim Brewery was established in 1982 by Dave Roberts and has been on its current site in Reigate since 1984. In September 2017, the brewery was purchased by Adrian and Rory, who invested in new brewing equipment to increase capacity and consistency. Their biggest selling beers are their Progress and Surrey bitters, but they also produce a wide variety of other beers like stouts, IPAs, lagers, and even smoked beers. <laughs> 